Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Sony. Um, I'm bringing a very, 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 very highly requested video to y'all. Uh, something that you guys have been requesting and been asking for many, many, many times on my channel. I've had it in like live streams before. I've done like tutorial streams, but I've never really had one place where you guys could always like, I could just point you guys to go to, you know, here and find anything you want to know about what I'm doing in these videos. So yeah, I'm going to make, this is my tutorial vid. And uh, I know it's long overdue. You're probably like, bro, Spider-Man 2 is about to drop. Like, why'd you wait so long? Um, I didn't have a setup. I didn't really have the, the stuff that I wanted to record it well. I didn't have a better mic. I'm not even gonna call this mic a good mic. Just like, well, it's probably a good mic. I don't, I'm new to it, bro. Um, it's good enough. It's better than what I had previously. And I was like, this is gonna be a really long video and I'm gonna be talking a lot. So if I'm gonna be talking a lot, I need to make sure that it's not grading, you know? So, uh, and my last mic was absolutely that. Like, I was like, Ugh. every time I record it, I, I would cringe. So, um, yeah, this is this is it, man. I'm sorry uh, it took so long. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm going to be covering both games. So, uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, first things first, we're going to be going over all the basic settings requirements for these games. And um, I'm going to be explaining when it comes to each option. Uh, what's a mandatory thing that you need and what's just preference for me specifically um, Mandatory like is going to mean you can't do these combos or like uh, Some of the stuff that you see me do unless you have this setting turned on uh, There's not a lot in this game, but when it comes to miles y'all really need to pay attention because that's a very uh, a Settings heavy kind of build for like the way I play um, So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and hop into it. Um to start off with game, uh, I think the only mandatory uh, setting is the difficulty setting. If you are not on ultimate difficulty, you cannot do the combos that you see me do when, whenever I'm playing. On any video that I've ever put up on this channel that's been Spider-Man related, um, it has been on ultimate because the enemies literally would get KO'd so easily, so quickly, unless I play it on the highest difficulty. And uh, there's a bunch of other factors that I'm going to get into about later, but just to start off, it needs to be on ultimate, okay? You can't do this unless it's on ultimate. And that's only because the enemy enemies take the most amount of damage on this difficulty. If it's not on this difficulty, it's wraps. Um, I think uh, this is preference, 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 preference. Um, yeah, the rest is preference. And, and don't worry, the settings do not change based on the platform you like uh, play this game. Um, it's only the actual in-game mechanics that are different things that you cannot do uh but it has nothing to do with the settings the settings is going to be uh the same all throughout so um accessibility uh okay this is the other one this is a mandatory setting web shooter burst so you don't know how to do it yet well you might but i'm saying if you're coming here to learn how to do this move the punch cancel uh, if you want to implement the punch cancel into your combo, uh, you need to have web shooter burst off. If web shooter burst is on, you cannot punch cancel. So it's potentially a mandatory setting. If you don't care about doing the punch cancel, like turn it on, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not that big a deal. But if you do want to do it, you need to have it off. Um, and I think everything else is preference. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go in on Miles now. All right, now we're in the settings for Miles, and basically everything that I said for Marvel Spider-Man Remastered carries over into this game with a, uh, you know, ultimate difficulty, mandatory. Web shooter burst needs to be off if you want to do punch and kick cancels. Mandatory. That's really it. However, when it comes to Miles, there's some things that are unique to this game, and the fact that there is a controller mapping feature, which gives you a whole new range of possibilities for you to do your combos. Me specifically, um, the way I've experienced, like experimented with it, as well as like a lot of other notable people, Who Storm, um, Von Zubin, KT Gaming, uh, we have a very similar setup, which is that um, when it comes down to it, the the settings that matter is that one of your shortcuts needs to be a charge jump, and the charge jump needs to be sorry, I pressed the wrong button. It needs to be hooked up to your left joystick. It might be inverted on my camera, I'm sorry, but this is my left stick, like my, my movement stick. And so basically what that does is, also, don't use this screen for reference. Listen to me talk. I know it 
it has the d-pad buttons that's just because i'm on pc um it's the left joystick so all right i jumped i'll show you again i jumped and it's instantaneous you can probably see why this is going to be really important later on uh we called this move the storm jump it was found and discovered by who's storm great youtuber you guys should really go follow him if you do not know about him he's on my channel page uh but yeah that's a mandatory to do the combos that i do if you don't really want to do combos like me you know experiment with this feature it is there for you to you know play around with um so yeah one of them has to be charge jump i don't really know what anybody else does with shortcut too i know i like doing the blind the blinding light technique which is basically this it's on my right d-pad button when i'm camo i can press this it's an instant blinding light i don't have to you know it's just accessibility for me it, it just uh it's easier for me to do that move when i'm just doing it with the shortcut um and that's really it i'm going to show you how to implement those into your combos later but for now that's just settings that's all uh we got to cover for miles so yeah we're gonna get into spider-man remastered going over all the combat movement suit builds let's go all right so we're gonna cover the basics so all the moves that you probably know how to do you just don't know why you should do them in specific moments and like their function uh and any like other extra tips that you should probably take note of going out through the combat experience so the first thing we're going to go over is the web shooters a uh, really simple thing is a very simple way to tell whether or not someone's playing on spectacular difficulty or below or they're playing on ultimate difficulty so i'm going to show you guys something uh by changing the difficulty um I'm really going to do the same thing twice. So pay attention to this. All right. That was on spectacular. I'm going to change it to ultimate and restart my last checkpoint. And let's see if I can do that again. Doesn't work. And the reason why is because when you're playing on ultimate difficulty, it takes six web shots to completely web up an enemy uh, that's on the basic level, like basic enemy grunts. Uh, it takes six, it takes eight for Olympic hideout grunts, and it takes the full clip or two impact webs worth for special units like brutes, minigun brutes, um, whip guys, stuff like that. If you see someone shoot three web shooters uh, and they already get webbed up, they're probably playing on spectacular. All right, so now we're gonna go over the basic combo. So that's the four square inputs four square inputs uh everybody knows how this looks one two three four so that fourth hit is the most damaging hit in this combo string and it also sends enemies flying if there's not a wall for them to hit one two three four guy went flying that's the most damaging hit in the string if you want to maintain or like prolong combos you don't want to land that hit and there's very simple way to avoid landing that hit in the moves list i'll let this explain it for me while i'm going through everything else leap off the leap off technique you can interrupt any square string any square like hit with a leap off move not the uppercut just a string so that counts for the the four square input on the ground the four square input in the air for aerial combos and also the dodge under square attack you can interrupt it uh leap off if you don't want to deal a lot of damage you do not land the fourth hit in the normal attack string whether that be on the ground or aerial attacks and you do not land the second kick from the dodge under move that's the the most damaging square inputs you can deal against an enemy don't do them if you you know want to extend your combo okay now we're going to be going over all the triangle moves so we got the normal basic web strike you just press triangle spider-man closes the distance and he hits an enemy and you get up per you know close and personal with him um if you're in the air but your enemy's on the ground and you hold a triangle you yank them up like this if the, you're both in the air and you hold a triangle you do this if the enemy's on the ground but he's not webbed up you do this and you can follow that move up with square and it hits them twice but i don't want him to die yet um so i'm not going to do it if your enemy is webbed up and you're both on the ground and you hold a triangle, you spin him. Now he's done. And you're both on the ground, but you're really close. You throw him like this instead. 
you're very vulnerable while you're in that position so you know be careful now if your enemy is mid-air and you hold triangle you yank him down now here's the fun stuff this is not really an advanced thing but it's something to take note of uh it's kind of cool you might not know about it if your enemy is webbed up on the ground okay but not stuck on the ground like we're just webbed up on the ground but you're in mid-air and then you hold triangle you do something a little different so i'm gonna show you what happens when he stands up so web him up i'm gonna go up aim at him hold triangle he starts spinning oh yeah i forgot about you know, the swing kick and the uh the square thing but yeah you can swing kick obviously um there's nothing crazy about the swing kick on PS4 there is, but I'm gonna get to that later. But yeah, so if you want to do the little spin thing, that's all you gotta do. Just make sure that the enemy is webbed up on the ground and then you're mid air and then you're holding triangle. They'll, they'll start spinning like crazy. All right, so square has a cancel with the leap off. You press X after a string, you interrupt the, uh, the square attack and Spider-Man can do anything else after that point. Triangle, the cancel is the circle button. So if you're, doing a triangle move and you want to interrupt the animation for whatever triangle move you're doing you press circle this is how i get people suspended in air in a specific way that i want them because i do the cancel and you can literally just carry people this way So if this enemy is webbed up and I'm swinging him, but I immediately press circle, he kind of just like moves towards me. You see how he did that? Uh, oh, I can't see. See, he moves towards me. It's kind of like the same thing in Miles when you do the pullback move uh, after you do a string where they fly forward. Enemies webbed up. Um, you don't want them to bother you. Circle. 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 That's how you cancel a triangle move. All right, now we're stepping into some stuff that's gonna require a little more explanation and breakdown. So we're not done with the triangle inputs. This is the last triangle input that we're gonna go over. It's called the pullback. So the pullback is a very conditional move where you can only hold triangle uh, when an enemy is airborne and you yank them back to your position. And it's usually after a concussive blast. Now I've seen people do it uh, usually after swing kicks um, when they hit the wall and then you can hold triangle and pull them back like that. But a very easy and quick setup to do is always gonna be the concussive blast. So how you perform this move is very simple. I'm gonna go over here. All right, so there's some rules to this move. I always do the pullback when an enemy is first knocked up into the air from an uppercut, then you do the concussive blast and then you hold triangle. However, within that, you gotta be wary of some things. So if I hold square, launch him up, then use the concussive blast and then hold triangle. If he doesn't hit the wall, he's gonna fall. That rhymes. Hopefully that helps you memorize it. If he doesn't hit the wall, he is going to fall. The enemies need to hit the wall or something else, but I'm gonna show you later. Aim the concussive blast up at the wall. Then you hold triangle. And look, he's coming right back to me. I can uppercut him. He's done though. So they got to hit a wall or something else. And this is where we get into the, the things that you may have been confused about watching my videos in the past. So there's a suit mod, uh, a lot of you know, it. it's called Threat Sensors. Threat Sensors slows time after a perfect dodge. Why that is important is because even if an enemy does not hit a wall, but they're in slow-mo, you can still do a pullback. See, he didn't hit the wall, but he was slow-mo, so it worked. That's how it goes. Um, and yeah, that's the pullback technique. Uh, the two conditions, they have to hit a surface or they have to be in slow-mo. Uh, that's literally it. It's not gonna work anywhere else. All right, now we're gonna be going over some advanced stuff, some stuff that's a little more fun to do to spice up your combat. So I'm gonna be showing you first my signature move. This is a move that I discovered in the game. It's called the yo-yo. Um, you've probably seen me uh, 
throw enemies repeatedly and you know they hit the ground you pull them up you, you swing them down to the ground and there's no safety net to catch them they don't get webbed up they don't get saved by the the game's mechanics or whatever and a lot of people think i'm modding the game i've never had to use mods for anything regarding the gameplay i just add suits for the most part uh i don't need mods to do all the crazy stuff that i'm doing um there's a way to set it up um if you're playing normally and you don't properly set it up then i'm gonna show you without editing this part that you can you can grab an enemy throw them and they get webbed up there's a safety net that saves them you see that he got saved and you can't combo anymore after that so you got to set it up right and the setup is very important you cannot skip steps on this there's two ways to do it okay two ways only two um the first one is kind of like the pullback move. You launch them up in the air, you press concussive blast, then you hit press triangle to do a web strike. You can land this hit and that's completely fine. You can still do the yo-yo after this, but it limit, you know, it takes off their health. We're trying to conserve like conserve as much health as possible for the enemies. So you want to press X because it does a leap off move, and then you can combo them without worrying about them dying. So press X, hold triangle. Now you can keep webbing them up and throwing them over and over and over again. You now have a yo-yo ready and locked and loaded. So I can press triangle as many times as I want. Hold it. You got to hold it. Um, and I can just repeatedly throw him. Like I can even let him hit the ground. He's going to hit the ground. Done. You don't need a mod for that. Um, the other way you can do it is you web an enemy up, let them see you. So it can start the, uh, okay, I gotta wait again. All right, now do it. Swing them, then web strike. It works the same way as a concussive blast. If you do a swinging throw, it works the same way as a concussive. So you're throwing them and then you press X, hold triangle, you have a yo-yo. Those are the only two ways that you can set this up. Um, where it works if you don't do these uh for some reason the game doesn't register that like uh you don't remove the safety net so that, that that's kind of how i i view it you got to do those specific things to make sure that they can fall and you know hit the ground so yeah that's how you do the yo-yo move all right we're now going to go over the punch and kick cancel i'm going to start with the punch cancel first so what you got to do is while your analog stick is moving forward is how you know it has to well moving in a certain direction like pointing towards a certain direction it doesn't necessarily have to be forward as you're going to learn like when you get more comfortable with the move but just for practice sake while it's moving forward you're going to alternate pressing square and r1 so all this does the r1 input interrupts the square input so it's kind of like the same thing where i said it's like a leap off move but it doesn't leap you off it just resets spider-man to do the combo again so, but the analog stick has to be moving in a certain direction for practice sake forward. So you can do this with any string as long as it's not the fourth hit. So you can go all the way up to three hits and then press R1 and do three hits again. So I'm moving the stick forward, square, 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 R1, square, 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 R1, square, 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 R1, or a square, square, R1, square, square, R1, or a square, R1, square, R1, square, R1. So that's, that's all you got to do. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you uh, have it down. One, two, three, R1. One, two, three, R1. One, two, 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 one, two, one, 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 one. All right, you see? You see? That's how you do the punch cancel. And the way to do the kick cancel is you do the same thing, just hold R2 the whole time. So you, you, you just do this. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh. See, that's how you do the punch cancel. When you get used to it, you can mix it up all types of ways. But yeah, that's that's really all it is. All right, now I'm going to show you that you can trip mine specific throwables. But if you apply your trip mine to say this electric box and then you swing it, you're gonna web someone up. Uh, and yeah, he's, 
he's a he's he's donezo. Yeah. Um, also, you can cancel all throwables by by pressing the circle button. I'm pretty sure y'all know that. But um, if you just wanted to be like really quick with it, if you wanted to ever send a, a throwable directly back and not um, forward, uh, just it's just just immediately press circle. <laughs> but um, you can't do the trip mine against like for all throwables. Um, cause this one, I don't think is going to work. Yeah. It just goes straight through. Uh, and I think it, it works specifically for the trash cans, mailboxes, um, electrical boxes, uh, just experiment. You'll find them out. I don't really know all off the top of my head, but yeah, you can trip mine throwables and it's pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna get into some combat tips that are purely based off the suit mods that you have equipped. So this is where we get to the really crazy stuff. The first thing I'm gonna cover um, is finisher cancels. There are two suit mod powers in the game that allow you to cancel a finisher. It is the negative shock wave, L3 and R3 for that, or it's the, wrong button. The guitar from Spider Punk. These are the only suit powers in the game where you can use them to cancel a finisher. And I will show you what it looks like after I build up some focus. All right, you see that? I got this guy in the air. Suit power, canceled it. Uh, so, canceled it. Those are the only suit powers you can do it for. All right, for the suit powers that can cancel finishers, there's also the potential to have a double air finisher um, where you start an air finisher, but the suit power can cancel it, sends you to the ground, and while you're at the ground, you charge up your charge jump and you come back and then you do a second air finisher. So how to set that up is you gotta use the suspension matrix tech that I told you about before. While an enemy is suspended in the air with the sus suspension matrix, God. That keeps them airborne for you to go back up and do the second air finisher. So it's gonna look something like this. All right. See? All right, the second suit power I'm gonna cover is Blitz. Blitz is the one, if you see me doing the rapid punches and stuff in the air, I'm using Blitz, that's, that's, uh, that's how it goes. So how it works is when you're in air, you have to be high enough in the air to the point that you can also dive. You can press the dive button. If you can't press the dive button, you need to go higher for this thing to work. So you're gonna be alternating your left stick and the attack button square. So you're just gonna go back and forth while the suit power is active. It's super simple. All right, get his attention. I'm gonna blast him off. Blast him off again. Now we can get into it. All right, here we go. I've never gone this far, wow. Okay, yeah. So just spam, spam the dive button and spam the attack button while Blitz is active, and that's what happens, yeah. <laughs> now this one is my personal favorite, it's the equalizer. Now people don't know, while this is active, not just your punches, but any gadget that you have equipped that you can like inflict upon an enemy does one hit damage. So with that being said, if I turn this on, and say, I have my electric web out. He's dead, 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 dead. Even worse, if you have it on while you use the concussive blast, which is the best way to do it, by the way, if you don't know, uh, oh, dead. All right, these are some other tips and tricks that are just like for the other suit powers. Um, if you have the electric punch ability, you get that from the uh, um, electrically insulated suit. Uh, if you turn this on, you know, you your punches spread the electricity, but also you can just do a ground pound and get them all in a big wide radius. And it's super effective. Uh, so if you have like a bunch of enemies grouped up, like right here, and you, all of them just get instantly electrocuted. Yep, it, it's super busted. One of the stronger abilities in the game. Yeah, works like a charm. 
All right, the last three superpowers that we're gonna go over don't really have any like tech savvy stuff to do. It's just like some extra tips that I guess I can share to you guys if you didn't know, you know, like it's, it's kind of cool what happens. So the um, unrelenting fury superpower, uh, it's not just for enemies with shields. It also applies to brutes and chain, like the, the minigun brutes, like they have the, you know, they shoot that, that, that mini cannon. If you have this superpower activated, it also counteracts their little block thing that they do where you can't touch them or, or punch them. You can hit these guys once you have this superpower activated. So it's actually pretty busted. If you didn't know about it, um, start using it more. It's really effective. Um, quips, um, this superpower uh, is it's a gimmick, but it also does serve as a tiny air suspender. So when you're using quips, and say you're doing a, a air combo and you don't want the, the guy you're fighting to fall or anything like that. Um, you can stop him in air by pressing quips. And it recharges really quick. So um, that's just something to think about. It, it interrupts all enemy movement and suspends them if they're in the air. So it's actually kind of busted in a way too if you you know use it like really clever, like if you're really smart with how you uh, choose to to use it at a certain moment, it can help you out a lot. And then the last one um, is the quad damage. You shoot a, uh, an electric web at somebody while it's active. Um, it low-key makes drums. It's just something to take note of, I guess. I don't know, it's not that helpful. All right, now we're going into the suit builds. Um, basically, builds that'll help you get a um, specified result within your combat experience. So first I'm going to go over what I run all the time, uh, my standard, and um, it only changes, like I have two variations of it. So it's scavenger, um, finishers generate bonus gadget refills, and threat sensors. And the reason why I have only these two mods equipped is because for one, I don't like doing a lot of damage. So any soup mod that helps you do damage, I'm going to avoid. Now, you may not do that, and that's completely fine, and I'm gonna show you if you wanna max out damage, the best soup mods for you to put on. But for me, I don't like dealing a lot of damage. I don't have soup mods that deal damage. It's just threat sensors to slow down time so I can do the pullback move, and then I have scavenger. So whenever I do use a lot of you know, gadgets within my combos, I don't ever feel like I'm wasting them or using too much of them because I can just get them back easily, you know, doing a finisher. Um, so yeah, that's really the only two that I ever run. I don't, uh, if I need, I guess in specific moments, if I'm trying to do something for a spe like a specified result for a video, I might put on kinetic power cells just to build up my focus meter faster. Uh, if like the goal of the combo is to end off with a finisher and I need it to build up faster than normal, then yeah, I'm gonna use the kinetic power cells. But for the most part, I don't really use it that much. Um, yeah, that's my build. All right, if you're trying to do a lot of damage, but you don't really care about building focus, then this is like the best damage dealing setup that you can have. Uh, my three mods is, um, hold up, sorry. My three mods, Stormbolt Discharger, uh, build up an electrical charge by performing air attacks and release that charge by attacking enemies on the ground. It's basically like having a manual uh, electric web. So if you're doing a lot of aerial attacks and then you come to the ground, it disperses a lot of electrical energy. Um, coupled with these other two, uh, full charge capac capacitors, um, increased damage when your health is above 100, max health is 250. So you literally have 149 points to spare like of health before you got to worry about uh, dipping into normal damage. Even still, this is like the best damage dealing mod in the game. And then you have discharge power cells, which this does is uh, temporary, temporarily increases damage after a perfect dodge. So with all this coupled together, you are going to be doing a lot of damage regardless of whether where, where like your focus meter is at. So yeah, um, not heavy on focus, um, doesn't have to be, just base damage is through the roof. This is the build that is uh, designed specifically for building a lot of focus really quick, which is good if you're trying to spam finishers out the wazoo. So the first one is Battletech uh, gadget attacks generate focus. Um, very, you know, very simple to understand. Uh, this is kinetic power cells, increases the rate focus generates just in general. 
also easy to understand. And then web attacks generate more focus, which is really great if you're just using web shooters. Um, you're gonna be getting a focus bar like in freaking, I don't know, like two hits. It's super, super easy. And then if you just wanna hammer this into the ground, put on battle focus, you're gonna be getting finishers. Super easy, dude. Um, you never have to worry about it. Super quick. Um, yeah, it, it's OP for no reason. So yeah, those are the only builds that I need to cover in the game. I didn't go over any defensive suit mod. And the reason being is that if you have to worry about defensive suit mods, then you probably don't need to be worrying about doing any crazy extra uh, trick related skill in this game because you shouldn't be getting hit. That's just like plain and simple. If you're getting hit in the game, the only thing that you really need to do is just equip this suit power. It temporarily absorbs all damage. So yeah, just run this. If you have to worry, you should not be building to take less damage. There is a very, very, very easy dodge button that you can manage that literally every other mod on this list is just redundant. You don't need it. Like all, I, I personally look at all the defense and stealth mods as a waste because um, it's really just, if, if you gotta use them, I'm just like, bro, that's on you. I, the other thing that you can implement into your combat is if you do a dodge pressing circle, you can immediately hold R2 and X, your charge jump buttons, and release this jump. So if you ever see me doing combat and I'm fighting some guy and then I dodge and then I immediately do a supercharge jump, it's because I just I just did it. Like that, that's how you do it. All you gotta do is dodge, hold R2 and X. You get into the suit, the super jump position, you can just immediately hold the buttons. And that's how you get a lot of maneuverability, a lot of mobility uh, out of Spider-Man when you're playing. All right, the other thing that you can do is a very, it's a skill that's very easy to do in Miles, but you can do it in this game. So when you are holding a charge jump, if you pull your left stick back this way to me, facing you, It'd be like we're going back here. So pulling it down. But right before Peter ends up actually turning around. So he shouldn't turn around. If you pull back, let go of the charge, the charge jump buttons and then press circle. So you're going to be doing a back dodge. It looks like this. He does a gainer. It's it's kind of weird. It's very like. So you're holding a charge jump, but you do a backwards dodge as soon as you let go. See, that wasn't fast enough. You gotta do it like, it's super quick. Like almost immediately when you pull back, you gotta like let go and dodge. But yeah, you can do this move. Um, it's really hard to do, like be conscious of it. I could implement it into like my gameplay if I wanted to. I just don't, it's just easier to do in miles. It's, it's a, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys why when we get over to him. All right, the last glitch thing when it comes to movement that I'm gonna show in Spider-Man uh, Remastered, same thing with PS4, you can do this on the OG version of the game, is the slingshot technique. The slingshot technique is very simple. You have to find a building that uh, has four corners, like it's not round in any shape or form. You have to r run horizontally along a wall. And when you get to the very edge of the corner, like you have to, sprint across the wall while holding circle. So it's basically when you do this move right here, you hold circle, Spider-Man turns the corner really quick. However, if you're running and you're holding circle, but as soon as you get to the corner, you hold the L1 button, which is your gadget wheel. Spider-Man does this, you let go, you slingshot. I just, dang near just broke my game, but um, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, and I now need to restart my last checkpoint. <laughs> All right, now we're going on to some PlayStation 4 version of the game, like specific stuff. This is on the OG copy of the game. So first thing that you should know, um, outside of the move, you can't do the side dodge and, and mo maintain momentum. So this is what it looks like. You completely stop in your tracks. It's very sad. I'm sorry this happens to you. Other thing is, that um, you have a slower web shooting speed. So no matter how much I spam this, it's going to go with the same exact monotone normal speed. Um, this is a 
like speed specific to the PS4 copy. Uh, if you play on, it, it has nothing to do with frame rate. I've seen people talk about uh, it's because it's at 60 FPS that you shoot faster. No, that's not how it goes. If you play on the PS5 version of this game, the remastered version of this game, and you switch to fidelity mode, which is at 30 frames per second for most of you guys, and you try to spam the web shooters, you'll still go insanely fast. Uh, it has nothing to do with the frame rate. It's just this version of the game is at lock speed. So yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. But you do have one thing, one very glitchy and weird thing that is specific to you that can't be replicated on any other platform. And it's the swing kick tech with the concussive blast. So what you do, switch to your concussive blast. You're gonna launch them up with uppercut, press R1 to use the concussive blast and immediately hold square and just watch what happens. I have no idea why you can do that. But yeah, you can only do that on PS4. All right, guys, now we're going to get into some mild specific gameplay. And there's going to be a lot of things from the first game that's going to carry over into this one. But with a few unique stuff about Miles' kit that makes it so it's a really different experience from playing between Peter and Miles. And one of the things that, you know, is obvious is that Miles has less gadgets than Peter. So he's not going to be a very gadget heavy character um, in comparison to Peter's combos. However, Miles is easily, without a doubt, a question of a doubt, the fastest and most mobile character that you can play between. When it comes to the two characters, he's very explosive, very mobile. He has the best movement system. It's not, you can't argue with me against this. Once, you, once I show you. Um, so one of the things that before Whose Storm came out and discovered that you could make the short, uh, the charge jump a shortcut, um, it was the fact that Every time that Miles goes for a, a launcher move, the air launcher move, when you hold square, it doesn't have a shock wave compared to Peter. When you upgrade that move uh, in your skill tree, every time Peter holds square and does an uppercut, it's a shock wave for the surrounding enemies. So he's not as vulnerable when that happens. Miles, on the other hand, does not have that shock wave. He's not as strong. So every time you hit someone up in the air, uh, if there's a lot of enemies around you and you try to follow up, you're going to get hit because the time uh, for you to meet them in the air, it takes too long. So the good thing about it is that the the charge jump shortcut is an instantaneous super jump. So you don't need to worry about charging it. You can just tap the button and you're already going to get the max height. I will show you what that looks like. All right, as you can see from the clip, the storm jump really does help you uh, follow up with enemies in the air and allows the movement possibilities to just skyrocket compared to the first game. It's like honestly crazy. Um, you could just, there's so many variations that you can do with the storm jump. Um, there's the charged air break, kind of like which I so showed you like in the first game, but you can do it way easier, way quicker now. You can even do it for like from a, a swing kick position and, and it, it will land on the enemy. You, you swing quick and then immediately follow up with the gainer. It's crazy. Um, there's like storm rushes, storm breakers, all that type of stuff that um, I could link in the description for videos that will teach you more in depth on how to storm jump. They'll be from Von Zubin and KT Gaming. Those are the two people that showed me how to do that move. Uh, the best or like the most like goes the most in depth on it and um yeah that really opens up miles's kit when it comes to his movement and um that's not even all of it, it so miles is somehow blessed with even more gifts when it comes to his movement he has the best aerial side dodge or dodging capabilities like between him and peter it's not even a competition you do a side dodge you're going to be carrying so much momentum you could honestly be the flash this dude is so freaking fast See, it's, it's just the best way to carry momentum from a dodge out of any other character. As you guys also obviously know, Miles has the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. And you can see that when it comes to his animation like variations uh, within his moves. If you jump up in the air and spam the web shooters, he has a very standard air webbing animation however when you start running off of cliffs 
It'll change to look upside down shooting. If you do it while he's diving, he shoots it like this. This also changes how he pulls off his venom jump move, which I will show now. In combat, if you pull off the venom jump while he's diving, he does a front flip instead of a, his normal little jump. I'll show you guys again. Front flip. On top of that, Miles also has the ability to cancel his Venom moves depending on which one you're doing. If you're doing a Venom punch, you can press the jump button and it'll cancel his move. I'll show you this. Well, when I'm about to land someone, you see that? You press the X button. This even happens from air. It works as a leap off move. When you're doing the venom jump from the ground, you can cancel it by pressing circle. And you can also repeat this move and keep spamming circle to teabag people. Obviously, if you're doing a Venom Dash, you can cancel it with Circle as well. I just got hit, but I will show you what that looks like. So yeah, he's a cancel guy. He's really fun. He has the same thing when it comes to with the punch cancel and the kick cancel. All of that stuff is the same. And when it comes to his Venom moves, you can cancel them too. They're really good. You can also even cancel his Mega Venom Blast by doing this. Well, I got a finisher, but I wasn't trying to. But if you just press circle, you can stop his Mega Venom Blast. Using his Venom Dash also functions the same way a Concussive Blast would in the OG game. So I'm going to show you how that looks. All right, once I Venom Dash this girl, and follow her up with a web strike, I can now yo-yo her. She does not have the safety net, and this only stops once she hits the ground and dies. Yup. On top of doing the dash mid-air to start a yo-yo chain, you can also, if you have enough venom, follow them up with a ground slam in order to catch them. So I'll show you how that works as well. So now I have a, my yo-yo chain when I throw this girl to the ground and do a ground slam and dodge, I can catch her with a finisher. She just got wrecked. In the same vein that Miles' Venom Dash works as a concussive blast for Peter in his game, he also has his own version of the web bomb. It's not on the gadget wheel and in a similar format as with his Venom. If Miles stuns a an enemy using his venom attacks or venom abilities and then webs them to a surface the webs explode in an area of effect quality so it has the same type of effect as a web bomb it just has a little more setup to do so i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like so So all those enemies got covered in webs because the guy that I webbed on the ground had was already struck with venom. So it's the same thing. Web bombs work. It's just requires a little more setup if that's how you want to play. All right. When it comes down to everything else regarding Miles's combat and movement, it's pretty much the same to Peter's. Uh, nothing else really changed. Just with the unique stuff that I showed you, his movement is far excels Peter. When you get really good and comfortable with using all the, the, the tech moves that I showed in this video, that's when you're going to start to see the magic when it comes to his movement. So with that being said, we're going to get to the final part, which is just the, the suit builds, the easiest thing to cover. Now I'm going to show you the suit builds that I run on Miles Morales. 
uh, the ones that I use, the ones that you can use if you're trying to be like super OP and deal a lot of damage, etc. So when it comes to miles, there's really only two things that I want to maintain uh, in order to pull off the combos that I like to pull off. It's slow-mo and it's a lot of venom. So the two builds that I have when it comes to his visor mods and his suit mods is I'm trying to make sure I can get perfect dodges as quick as possible and often as possible in order to trigger slow-mo. So I obviously have threat sensors. So after every perfect dodge that I do, I get a temporary slowdown on time. And in order to increase the window for me to get that opportunity, I have perfect sight, which increases the window for perfect dodging. That's all it really does. So this helps me get a lot of slow-mo time. This helps me get a lot of venom. These two mods right here, Power Transfer and Hidden Fury, they really work in tandem with each other. So Power Transfer, every time you turn off Camouflage, the however much Camouflage meter that you have will be transferred into Venom meter. So if you turn it off early, you're gonna get a lot more Venom. If you turn it off late, you'll get like a smidge. And if you let it run out, it's probably not gonna get a lot of transfer at all. So you want to do that and in order to get a lot of camo to keep transferring over to Venom, you uh, put on Hidden Fury because each time you get a melee attack, it generates more bonus camouflage time every time you land a hit. So uh, it's really a symbiotic relationship between these two mods. You hit a lot of people, you get more camouflage, you get more camouflage, you get to turn it into Venom. That's how it works. All right, so this is the only other build that I have for Miles Morales. If you're trying to deal a lot of damage when it comes to this game, you just wanna really pour a lot of resources into uh, performing a lot of Venom attacks because Venom attacks just means bonus damage. So Residual Venom is the only visor mod that really gives you the chance to uh, acquire more Venom without needing to rely on defense mechanisms or getting hit and stuff like that or seeing your health drop. Um, Every time I play this game, I always go into the mindset of I'm never getting hit. So what's the point of putting on mods that uh, has a conditional effect where it'll work, but only if I take damage, it doesn't really make much sense. So I'm never getting hit. I'm gonna need a mod that works without me getting hit. So residual venom is the only one that does that. Energy left behind after a successful venom attack becomes visible and can be absorbed on contact to generate more venom power. So basically, you do a venom attack, you get more venom. It, it just it's like a recycling thing. Um, that's really the only one from the visor section that you want to worry about, unless you want to get really niche and do the trick master. Um, you gain bonus venom power for performing air tricks. There's a setting in Miles that allows you as a player to switch the way that his air tricks work. It's a, um, where is it? Air trick mode. So if you change this to toggle maintain, if you get really good at it, you can end up fighting in a mission um, while you're in combat and keep doing air tricks, uh, air tricks to produce more venom that way. It's a really niche style of play. I've only seen like, a couple people be able to pull this off like regularly um it's very very complicated at least for my brain it's hard for me to wrap around um you have to start doing air tricks before you get into the combat scenario that's the only way it'll uh, keep going every time you hold square in the air but if you don't want to do this just letting y'all know it's complicated if you don't want to do it don't turn this on just keep it on hold uh or you know do you it, it's really up to y'all um but yeah if you want to get really niche you can use that Otherwise, the the second visor mod is really just preference. There's nothing else that you um, uh, would help you out specifically towards building Venom when it comes to the visor section. Um, if you do get hit, you can go down and use the Venom Overclock mod. Uh, Venom power generation increases as health drops. You can use this if you do expect to get hit. If you don't, then there's really nothing else you need to worry about here. I have an eye for supplies. It increases the drop rate for gadget ammo because usually all of Miles' Venom attacks have a, a area of effect capability to them. So I'm trying to get a lot of gadget ammo to drop for the, gadget, uh, the gravity well because the more enemies that I can pull in, the more enemies that I can affect with any Venom attack that I unleash on my enemies. So yeah, uh, if, if you want to be in a steady supply of getting the gravity well, uh, then put this on. But again, you don't need it. It's not necessary. When it comes to the suit mods, you have Venom Momentum. This is the strongest damage mod that Miles has 
ever, like in the game. Every six hit in a combo applies a Venom Stun to the enemy. Basically, you don't even have to worry about the bar. As long as you're building up combo, you're you're landing hits on people, you're going to vend up, uh, build up the Venom Stun and you're gonna, just gonna apply it. It's gonna spread like wildfire. It's super destructive. Um, I stopped using this mod because of how good it was. Like it, it did too much damage for me. And so this is Zap Slap. This is also really destructive specifically for underground enemies and the reason why is it creates a concussive force when underground weapons are shattered you shatter them with venom so if you shock an enemy that's an underground enemy and you use venom to do it it's just going to be even more bonus damage it's crazy like you're just going to be going out the wazoo dealing damage yeah so it's really a symbiotic type of relationship um it helps a lot for the underground especially taking down those shields getting those guns out the way it's super destructive so if you want to play like that then this is the build for you all right so yeah that's about it guys for this video um i really hope this helps y'all if i miss anything or you need me to go a little more in depth and cover something about this video that i wasn't necessarily too clear on please just let me know in the comments i will try to address anything that i missed or left out or whatever that may be this video is made purely for y'all you guys have helped me out to 15,000 subscribers i cannot believe that i wouldn't be here to even make this video if it wasn't for you guys so this is my present my treat for y'all thank y'all so much i hope you guys enjoy the vid and uh yeah i'm gonna see y'all next time spider-man 2 is coming out you know your boy is going crazy so yeah bro y'all have a good one peace out